What's up everybody? Sean here with another Live to Roll video. This is going to be another how-to video and it's just actually how I get hoodies on and off. I'm going to show you both how I get a zip-up hoodie on and then also how I get a regular pullover hoodie on. And uh, quick side note, hoodies are available for sale right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just go ahead and get right into this though. So basically for a zip-up hoodie, what I'll do is I don't have any, a lot of times I do like to put a little tag or like a little key ring or something I can pull on here, but I don't on this sweater yet. So what I'm going to do is just pull it out a little bit and lift it up. And with my tooth, I'm going to just push it down while I pull the sweater apart. And then I only go down to right about where my zipper is right here, or right, right where the pocket is um, on the zipper. And I do that because I don't want it to fully unzip because I can't reconnect the zipper clasp. Um, I've done it successfully twice, I think. And both times it took me, I don't know, over a half hour. Uh, so this is not something I like to do. So I will try to keep it uh, connected like that. And then another trick is just to fold your, your, um, your zipper down because when it's down, it actually kind of locks it in place. So it holds a little tighter. Okay, so now once I have the, the zipper zipped down here, what I'm going to do is try to lift it up a little bit in my back by just pulling and doing a little lean forward. And then I'm going to work it off my shoulder here. I go off my left shoulder for sweaters and then I work my right hand under and I get it into the arm. So I'm actually in the armpit in here. Now I can pull and I'm going to pull it a little bit more, stretching, trying to get to my elbow. And then once I get the elbow, boom, I can pull it through. And then what I do also, I like to pull my sleeve like in uh, so it doesn't go inside out. So I'll pull it with my tooth like that, teeth, just pull it out. And then once I get here, I have to take the hat off. And then I go just over my head with the main torso part. And then roll it around the other shoulder. And then now I can kind of slide it down. there so that's pretty much how I get it off and again I pull with my tooth so that it doesn't go inside out and then a lot of times now I will actually go ahead and re-zip this up a little bit so I'll grab the zip with my teeth and pull it most of the way back up so next time when I put it back on um, it's a little easy I, I like it to be most of the way up when I put it back on all right so hoodie is good to go so I guess I'll just go right back into putting that one on. Do a little quick blood pressure drop here. Whew. <laughs> All right. So, and also note, long sleeves available as well. <laughs> All right. So how I would get the sweater on, I actually, I zipped it all the way to the top. I actually wanted to have a little bit of space just so it's easier for my head to fit through. So I'll zip it down just a couple inches like that. All right, so now that I have that, I will lay it down kind of in front of me as flat as I can on it. Uh, and so I have the back facing up and I can get my hands in and open it up as much as I can. Now I'm going to get my hands in to the arms right away. That's the first thing I want to get. So I get one in, pull the teeth through, then we go for the other arm. Same thing, teeth. And then now once I have it through both my arms here, I can kind of work it up just a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I'm just going to do it like a pullover and go right over my head. Try to shake it down. And then once I get it over, I'll kind of just try to work it down, work, get my hand under and try to I got my thumb kind of hooked under to try to pull it out. Go from the other side too. That one's kind of stuck up there. There we go. And then I'll also try to I use my thumbs and I'll, I'll lick it to just get a little bit of traction. <laughs> I tend to have dry skin since we don't sweat. But um so I'm just trying to get my thumb to grab some fabric and 
pull it down in the back. This is the one thing that is nice to have some help with if you have a caregiver or someone around to help you pull that back little part down. Try to get hands in pockets here and I'll kind of pull it down that way too. <laughs> and that's the hardest part is just trying to work it down into place. All right, so back on, bam, whoo. <laughs> All right, so now um, I'll maybe cut this out, but I'm gonna have to take this one back off because I'm gonna show you how I get just a regular pullover hoodie because the pullover hoodie not being able to zip down is a little tighter, a little bit harder to do. The zipper gives you a little bit more flexibility um, and leeway when you're trying to get it off. So again, to get it off, I'm gonna use my tooth in the zipper, Oops. try to pull the sides apart. Pull the zipper down, and then we'll go back up with all that work I just did in the back. <laughs> and uh, try to work the hand in. And this definitely takes some balance. Um, that's why I have a lot of dump or bucket in my chair, so that my butt sits real low, and it allows me for a little bit more balance. And also, another thing to help my balance is I have my um, my push bars here. I actually sling down behind them a little bit, so like with the I'm behind the bar, so they give me a little bit of uh, leverage. Like when I want, need to lean side to side, it's a little bit of stability just to help me hold there. All right, so again we're going over the head, and then flip it around the shoulder, and down. Okay. And then again, like I said, for storing, I like to zip it up most of the way. So now let's go ahead and switch this out for the pullover hoodie. Let's zip that back here. Get the pullover here going. So now the pullover is just a little bit tighter, not being able to have that zipper down a little bit. Just makes everything a little more snug. Whoa, tip bars. <laughs> so yeah, it just makes everything a little more snug um, and just a little harder to maneuver through. So we'll go for this. I do to get it on. I do the same thing where I lay it flat, um, face down on my legs, and then I can work my hands into the sweater. I'm gonna try to get up hands up into the arms and pull through again pull through and then once I have my arms through just work it up the shoulder just a little bit more so it's a nice easy flip over the head and then I try to get this nice and open and boom right over the head and then again just shaking and working it <laughs> trying to get it down so I got my hand under just pulling uh, trying to maneuver it down there Whew. and same tricks I'm just kind of my thumbs I've learned to use pretty well. Um, I have no actual function there, but... All right, so yep, just worked it all the way down. Just take some time, dig, go side to side to side. Um, and a lot, also, if you didn't notice, when I lean forward to do that, Whatever side I'm not, like I have my right hand on this one trying to scoop, my left arm is hooked on my armrest so I'm not falling forward. That's how I'm able to lean forward. And so same over here, I'm gonna lean with the right, use the left. Um, I can't just lean forward and, and work the thing down. 
So I'm always trying to make sure I maintain my balance. All right, so that's pretty much it on on. Now off is the harder part for these. Since you can't do the unzip, it takes away some of the space in here. So to get it off, uh, I'm gonna start the same. I'm gonna get my hands under, like right in the front where the pocket is, and try to work it up my back. Um, and I'm able to just pop my back off the backrest just for a quick, quick second to pull just enough to pull up. So now it's over the, my backrest, it's not behind my back anymore. So now I'm gonna work the whole thing up a little bit, try to make as much space as I can, and then get this right hand in to the arm space. There we go. And just work it off. Work it up over the elbow and then I'll bite and pull again. Just because I like keeping my sweaters not inside out. All right, so now I got the one arm out. Work it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna go up and over the head. Ooh. And then, boom, bite the sleeve again, pull it out, and voila. <laughs> uh, and then to get the hat back on, side tip trick, two hands side to side, go for the front, and then pull it down in the back. Boom, adjust. Quad tips. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is how I get hoodies on and off, both zipper and um, non-zip. Um, one tip I would suggest is make sure that you don't have too tight of a sweater. Um, I do have one hoodie that's a little bit tight and I have had some real struggles with to get out of at night. Um, and it's no fun and I have had to call help a couple times just because I got just stuck. Um, so, you know, if you do like really tight clothing, it's going to be a little harder. You might have to work a little things. Um, I would suggest doing the zipper if you like it a little bit tighter, because with that zipper, you really can make a lot more space in there when you pull it down, even just to your belly, not even unzipping it fully. Um, so there you go, guys. That's pretty much my tips on sweaters. And like I said, hoodies are available right now. We're redoing the website, so I can't tell you for certain that they're on and it's up right now because I am redoing the entire website. Uh, but e uh, you can email me or DM me on Instagram or even here, uh, message me, whatever. I will get them out to you. Uh, just let us know and uh, we'll get them to you. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you taking the time to watch Live to Roll channel. Um, please click that subscribe button if you haven't already, the like button, and uh, we will uh, see you next week. Let's get a fist bump. Lift to roll, everyone.